I'm back. Uh, I This is getting tacky enough where I think I can go ahead and show you. I'm going to paint over it with gray, let it set up. But I want to show you something else. I'm going to show you guys how to do a raised stencil. I don't remember if I showed you that yet. So while I'm doing that, this will dry and crack. So I'm going to be able to show you guys that. But I want to um, bring you up in my other group here. Technology is wonderful. Okay. Oh. Technology's Alright. So I'm just gonna paint the gray on this and let it set to the side and let it do it. Let it do its amazing stuff. But it did start to crackle. And I think I showed you guys it, but um that's what it's gonna look like. And it says the chunkier you put the stuff on, um, I gotta move this, I don't wanna get paint on it. The, mm, I don't wanna shove stuff around. The chunkier you put it on, uh, the bigger the cracks. So, Sorry, I'm distracted. I just am adding some <laughs> gray, gray to that other thing here. So they say to add your paint chunky too. Let's fill in that area where. Now it, it's tacky. So make sure it's all completely dry. Like I said, do as I say, don't do as I do. Man, it's cracking like right away. This is crazy. It seriously is, seriously is cracking like right now. I gotta show you. It's <laughs> seriously just cracking like crazy. At least on the sides anyway. Did it so fast. Okay, look. See the bottom? That was like not even a minute and it started cracking. So as soon as your stuff is, yeah, as soon as your crackle is dry, it will immediately start to do its thing. See, it's cracking up there too. And look, I put it on really thick. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna set this to the side. Let's finish doing its thing. But the crackle is so much fun. It's amazing. So I'm just going to use the back side of this board um, that we did the flowers on. And so the raised stencil. Of course, you guys know my little secret about getting a stencil not to move. But let's mix, let's mix this stuff up first here. So I'm using Plaster Paris. And I'm going to mix the paint color that I want in the raised stencil already. You don't have to do this. You can use, you can put a raised stencil on your piece of furniture like on the sides. I did this on a dresser and then paint the whole thing all at once, including the raised stencil. But I'm going to go ahead and color my raised stencil now before I put it on here because I want it, I want this wood grain to be natural on the back side behind it. So. I had this open. There we go. All right, and I need my water. I always, oh man, I don't have a, now I need a cup. I'm using my 
use this. So, you don't need a whole lot. I'm going to put this thankful on this as a raised pencil. But you don't need a whole lot, but yet you want enough to uh, do the stencil. So we'll get the water in there first. And your ratios are just figured out. Um, you want it pasty, but yet you don't want it runny. Somewhere kind of in between, and I have it runny, so I know, I'm going to add some more plaster. Now, I've actually used Plaster of Paris in my molds that I was telling you guys about earlier, and I let them dry and popped them out, and I've used them on furniture too, just plaster molds. Yeah, this is way runny, so I'm going to keep adding it. Um, of course, read the directions. I never read directions. Your ratios are going to vary. Not vary. Your ratios are going to... Just read about your ratios. I don't, know what, I don't know what I'm talking about. I don't even know why I'm teaching you guys. This is too funny. <laughs> oh my gosh. Don't listen. Yeah, so this is going to take a lot more, a lot more than I thought. But usually I get to that point and I go, oh my gosh, I have to add a whole bunch more, but just add a teaspoon or tablespoon at a time. Get all the, get all the chunky, crunky stuff out. You don't want it running, so I have to keep adding. Um, too bad my molds aren't still out here. I would just make some. It's getting there. It's getting there. Hang on. It's getting there. Alright, maybe this is going to be the final deal. Are you, yeah, sorry. I If I would have mixed this ahead of time, it would have gotten hard on me, and it wouldn't have been a good thing. Nope. Maybe. Maybe one more. Come on now. So the ratio's probably, so the ratio's probably like, um, what? I don't know. I didn't even read it. Uh, there you know. It's too small a letter, and I can't read it without my glasses. Um, gosh, by according to this, what I did, it's probably something like five tablespoons of plaster of Paris to one tablespoon of water. <laughs> a little bit more. It's getting there. It is. Hang on. It's getting there, I promise. This is why I need an assistant. Anybody up for the job? I need an assistant and I need a BA. Oh my gosh. So this is going to have to dry. Oh, I got to add my paint color in. Like I said, you can pre add your color in if you want. If you already have the surface color that you want, you can, you can color this as you are mixing. And then um, it'll be done. Otherwise, just mix it like this, apply it, and paint the whole thing. So, all right, it's getting, it's getting awesome now. So,
Yep. So this is the consistency that you want. It kind of, it's kind of like peanut butter, but yet it's workable. Okay, that's this. Did I do that? Did you see it in the camera? See? So it's good. All right. So, oh, I gotta add my color. Add my color. So I'm just gonna pour it in there. I like the turquoise on the real wood. Woo! I don't think I needed that much, but we'll see. Oh yeah, we'll be fine. So yeah, you can add it right in there and get your color mixed ahead of time. The more we play with it, the thicker it's getting. So I've got to get going here. All right, the other thing is get a putty knife, not a paint knife but a putty knife, okay? I've told you guys my secret, spray the back side with spray adhesive. where you need to fill back in, just smush it back in there. doing this, use that straight edge. To wipe, to scrape all that excess back off. All right. And pull your stencil off. Now that's gonna dry. Now that's gonna be damp because of the moisture in the plaster, but that's all there is to it, you guys. So when this, can you see, can you see it? It's raised. So yeah, you can leave it white and you can paint all of it with just one color, but I'm gonna leave it just like that and I'm gonna seal it. So when that dries, oh, my A kind of goofed up. Or my N. What happened here, kids? Oh, I'm good. I just gotta clean up this edge, that's all. But that's all there is to do in a raised stencil, guys. So, quickly, before I go, here is the crackle board. It looks amazing. Crackle is so much fun to work with. Look at that, it is so fun. There you go. So 
there was a quick lesson in <laughs> ray stencil and finishing the crackle. So I hope you guys have fun with this one. Uh, hope to see your projects. God bless, guys. Bye.